Okay, we're back and we are ready to finish up our golden rectangle. So you can see that I've already started adding color to it. I've been working on it um, so that you had an example to see. And my expectation is that you add color and you practice uh, some of the technique I'm gonna review, but I don't need you to make an exact copy. If you want to copy the colors and how um, the order I use them in, that's perfectly fine. But if you wanna come up with your own placement for colors, I'm okay with that too. So these are the color pencils we'll be using in class. I've organized mine in the manner you see laid out on my desk. And again, you can do this. You don't have to do it. It's totally your choice. I'm just showing you what I did because I know sometimes some of you want to do what I've done and some of you have your own ideas and either way is fine with me. So you'll notice that in each section I have began coloring it in and you'll see that there's a range of value. So if you think back to our words with value project that we did, value refers to the intensity of a color, so how dark or light the color is. So we're seeing a range of values in each section with the color that we're doing. Okay, so what I would like you to do is attempt to practice having at least two values. Three would be great, four would be even better, but working towards maybe having a bright spot and then some areas that are darker in it. So you can see that in most of mine, what I did is I used my darkest or uh, brightest value along the outside edges. And then as I moved towards the center, I got lighter and lighter with my value. Okay, so you're gonna be using a different color for each section of the rectangle. So when we put the swirl in here, or the spiral, I should say, um, that breaks the uh, squares into sections, and I colored each one of those sections using a different color. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and show you how I'm, I've been coloring this. And again, you don't have to use the same colors, it's your choice what color you use. So you may also want to check some of your colors on a scrap paper just to make sure they don't look too close. Um, so you may find that there some of them are very similar to each other and you may not want to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and start in this section. Okay so I've selected my next colored pencil which is this one and I'm going to go ahead and right along the edge where the sharpie is I'm going to press very firmly. I hope these two colors don't look too similar. Um, they're close, but they are not identical. In the corners, I press very firmly, and then along that black Sharpie line. And then I have been rounding that shape. And I typically turn my visual journal when I'm coloring. Um, but for the sake of the video, I will attempt to keep it oriented in this direction. So again, pressing really, really firmly to get that right value. Right along those edges. Essentially creating a shape that looks like this. Okay. And then as I continue to color it in, I'm going to lighten the amount of pressure that I'm using, just like we did when we did our value scales and our words with value. And this I am speeding up in the video for you. So as I'm moving towards the center, I'm going to use less and less pressure. Remember, one way to do that is to move your hand up your pencil. Okay, and I'm just going to continue to color this in until it's done. Um, you don't have to watch me color the whole thing. I will speed it up. If you want to just check out what it looks like at the end, that's fine. And I, of course, will be around to answer any questions you have in class.